Hey everybody, I'm David Henry from Learn Christmas Lighting, and in this video I'm going to continue my, hey, I'm trying to figure out FPP or Falcon 5 player, with getting a sequence on it as a test and seeing if it works. So I've got a sequence, I've got a layout here that's got eight universes on my controller. It's a patch to a static IP address, at least the first two universes are, we should change the rest of those actually. All right, so now all I've got to do is get my test sequence out to FPP somehow. So the first thing that I noticed here was that if I highlight all of these and right click, I can see that it says um, upload to controller. And so I'm gonna say upload to all controllers. I'm going to see what happens. And I don't think I have anything here. That's okay. We'll ignore that and just see if we can get this working without it. So now I'm going to go in and go to export my sequence because I believe that's what I need to do is let's try this FPP connect. So I've got an FPP running. It knows about it. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave things, I guess, at the default. I don't know. And hit this sequence and hit upload. And we're going to see what happens. So now I'm back at my Falcon player. We'll bring that over. Going to refresh it. And I'm not seeing anything here. It seems like you guys are probably all laughing at me saying, oh, you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to go create a playlist called test one. Then I'm going to go ahead and press add. You must select a media file to add a sequence. Okay. Maybe just a sequence because this is a test. It doesn't have music. There's my test. Okay. It exists. Yay. And it's there by default. It's in, oops, it was in the main playlist until I moved it. There we go. Now I'll press save. Must be a good thing. And go back to status, maybe. I'm not sure. Either way, uh, let's go ahead now that we've sent that over and see if we've got things set up. So I'm going to the settings page, or no, I want to go to output, setup, and I see that I've got e.1.3 to 1, and I got to enable it. I got to set the interface, and I got to set my universes. And it doesn't have my info in here, but I'm just going to say whatever, because we've got the channels here. And so now I'm going to paste in my unicast address. I don't actually have mine connected right now because I didn't have a network port open on my switch. So that's okay. We'll press save. It says restart required. I'm actually going to, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and set up um, the network so that I can still reach this thing wirelessly. And so now I'm going to go find my network information and I'm going to put it in here. Then I'm going to save it and reboot. All right. So now FPPD has restarted. Oops. I'll make sure to hide my network password on there. We don't all need to see that. And now I'll go to my status page. It says it's running standalone says we've got this and I, I wanted to play this thing all the time and so I think I need to go to a scheduler yep so let's do that let's do add that's beautiful that it's gonna just run we want it to run all day every day and then press save and then maybe if I go to status it says it's playing test one. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to just shut this thing off with the power switch. Yikes. And plug in my pixels, and we're going to see if they work or not.
All right, so clearly we got something wrong here because it did not work. Uh, and so it says it's playing. Um, it says it's going to play it all the time, all day long. And so let us check our outputs. Okay, this is not enabled, so that's interesting. And of course, I also wasn't able to, um, so I'm going to save that. Going to restart that. But I also wasn't able to uh, reach it wirelessly over my network. And I was hoping to be able to do that. I think I can. So I think I can. I think I can. So we'll go back here to this network setup. It says, okay, I thought for some reason... Yeah, so it's connecting via wireless, apparently. But then it also seems to create its own little uh, network. And, oh, this is good to know. Um, so I'm not really sure about this. Not really sure about this. Well, but we'll figure it out. And so it seemed to be working fine. I think my Pi has Wi-Fi on it. I know it does, actually. I'm just going to disable the tethering mode because I'm not sure I want that um, when there's only one Wi-Fi adapter. And then, of course, a reboot is required. And so the lesson here, everyone, is that um, you should always have a network switch around, and if you don't, then you might have problems. And so let me go ahead and actually just in case for some reason it's my Pixelite now that I'm working with a crossover cable, I'm going to go find a switch or a router and plug everything in. All right, so lo and behold, the big lesson for everyone, as you saw there, is my lights now work. Um, I'll show that again. So the big lesson here is if you're setting up Falcon by player, um, part of the reason why there's not a lot of amazing documentation out there for us non-engineer folks is because it's actually not that hard to set up. Um, but you do want to have a network switch so that you can have all your stuff or be by your router so that, you know, your Pi, um, your controller, and your computer can all be plugged into the same network. I like being plugged in. I don't like being wireless to anything. Um, and so you can get it all happy and running, and then you know that you're good. I'm sure I'll follow this up in the future. I'm going to keep experimenting and, you know, really put out a formal tutorial that, that shows um, kind of the non-engineering type person how to get all this stuff going. But for now, these two videos should work great for you. So I hope you have a great day, and be sure to subscribe here on Learn Christmas Lighting, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.